Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and this is the image I'm gonna be working with today. So I shot this in the studio and I had the makeup artist prep these lips with a light gloss and then I had the image retouched. So we have a nice clean canvas to work with. We're gonna be working towards these eight colors for these eight final looks. So let's jump into this blank canvas and start applying our colors. So what we need to do first of all is obviously drag in our lip shade chart so we've got our colors to work with that will create a layer on top of everything that we can pick and choose the colors from so first up first step is to create a solid color layer so we'll do this by selecting the background go down to adjustments click solid color ensuring that your sample size is set to 5x5 five five average then click on this first color swatch and this is really important. I want you to copy this code down the bottom here. And I'll show you why in a second. Click OK, click on the mask and click Command I to invert, then click on this color and then change it to soft light. Then making sure your mask is selected and you have your brush tool and white, you can then start painting in the color. So why would you need to paint in the lip colors in post-production rather than in the studio? Well, maybe eight colors is achievable in a day, but it all depends which colors you're working with. Now, the darker colors do tend to stain lips. And of course, lipsticks and lip glosses are designed to stay on the lips for a long period of time. So when you're constantly applying and removing lipstick and lip gloss from the model's lips it can leave residue in some of the cracks which becomes very difficult to remove in post-production so i personally think and from my experience it's much better to do it this way you can then also achieve many more looks um, from you know probably a much bigger uh, color range because uh, most clients have more than eight colors in their lipstick ranges uh, so filling in the edge of the lips. Now, if we go too far over like I have done there, let me show you how we would remove that. So let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see. Let's just move that there. So if you use the X key, you can toggle between your black and white and then you can add or remove. So using the black brush, it removes and then the white with the mask selected paints it in. So I'll just take a little bit off the edge there. And you see at the bottom here, it needs a little bit adding in. So I'm gonna hit the X key, I can reduce my brush size, and I'm gonna add a little bit more in down here. I've gone a little bit over, so we can remove that by toggling with the X key. Just remove that. Okay, that looks nice and clean. Now, what you can probably see is that this is a bit of a flat color at the moment and it needs a little bit more depth than the blacks. So what we need to do is create a gradient map just to bring out those blacks a little bit more, just to give it that sort of real three dimensional feel. So if you click on the command key, click on your mask, then you need to go down to adjustment layer, gradient map, click on your gradient map. I want you to select black and white and then click here. Click on color and then paste that color code from your first solid color background we created and then click OK. So then you can see it's already given this shot a lot more depth. So I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit. I think that looks good to me. Now, of course, we want to repeat the same process for all the other colors. So the quick way of doing that is to group these two layers you've already created. So if you hold down the command key, right click, group from layers and mark it swatch one. Click OK. You've then got that first swatch all good to go. So deselect that swatch and then you can copy however many layers or however many groups you need to achieve those eight looks. So 
So there we have it. I'm just going to go through and rename these very quickly. Okay, so that's all our swatches renamed. And now we need to apply all of the other colors to these swatches. So we have our full set. So select swatch two, turn that group on. Then you open up that group and click on the solid color. So of course we want to pick up this second color here. Copy this code, command C, click OK. And then go into your gradient map on your color and paste that code in here command V click OK and then we have your second color repeat the same process for all the other colors So there you have all your eight colors now selected and applied to the eight different swatches. So all you need to do is then select each swatch and save out accordingly. Make sure you deselect that top layer. And it is as simple as that. So here's the eight final looks from our color chart. As you can see, it was very straightforward and I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. Please ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. I plan on making a lot more videos based around beauty photography. So hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.